My name is Crystal Detweiler. I serve in children's ministry downstairs with the bigger kids. So we were still like a couple years new to Marion and um, like COVID was happening and the church that we had started in Marion, um, it was just a lot of like grownups and we really needed a strong kids program for our kids. And so we, during COVID, watched Mary Naz on Facebook Live and we came here and our kids loved it and there were just so many children and such a strong program. And so um, we just fell in love with it and stayed. So we are an adoption family um, and the more we got into the adoption process, the more I could see God in the process because the seeds were planted so long ago. When I was a little girl playing with my dolls, all my babies were adopted and I had no exposure to adoption, no knowledge of adoption. I didn't know anybody that was adopted. So looking back, it could only have been God planting that seed in my like little girl heart so long ago. We always felt like start on the home front. You know, my husband was a soldier. We take care of the home front first. And so we're like, we're doing domestic adoption. Um, we want to adopt a child that's, you know, really little. So we have tons of time to like influence, influence this little person and grow with them and have all this time with them. And so we had all these like grand ideas, right? And we never did anything. We went to the meeting and we never did anything afterwards. And I don't know why other than God was preparing us for something else and we were moving to Ohio a lot sooner than we thought, but we had accomplished all of our goals that we had set in 18 months instead of five years. Um, I was like, hey, why don't we expand to this Marion area? Like, it looks fine. I mean, I don't know anything about Ohio. I'm from the Seattle area. And so we looked at Marion and we found a couple houses and we ended up picking one. And, and I was like, okay, we need to find a church. And so I made a, a whole spreadsheet. I went online and researched all these churches. And so we settled into this church and it just so happened that the pastor's family at that church had adopted children from Ukraine. And they were big advocates for adoption and hosting and I didn't even know what hosting was. One night I was sitting on my computer scrolling Facebook and it's like 11 p.m. and I think everybody else is asleep and um, I saw this post from my pastor's wife and it was a picture of this boy and talking about how he just you know wants to come to the states for summer and he wants family and stuff and i had this like i swear the like skies open and i heard ah! and i was like oh my goodness this is my son and i never felt like so sure of something in my entire life and the next morning, I was so excited. And the next morning, Justin woke up and I'm like, Justin, you're never gonna believe what happened. And he's like, what? And I'm like, I have to show you this, this boy's picture. And um, he was like looking at it and he's like, okay, this boy's like for hosting. And I said, this is our kid. And he's like, this is not our kid. You are crazy. What are you talking about? This is a, a 15 year old boy that lives on the other side of the world. And I'm like, you don't understand. <laughs> this is our son. He's like, no. And that night we put a deposit down on Sasha's hosting. <laughs> so um, he came and spent the summer with us. Little did we know that he would come in the summer of 2019, spend time with us. We would start the adoption process and then the world would shut down. All of our adoption paperwork expired. All of the governments closed. We had no way of getting to him. We had no way of getting him back to us. We tried to say, you know, like, he can come stay with us during the, but this is not the foster system in the United States. The good thing that happened was it gave us tons of time to fundraise. I mean, God just put all these opportunities in our path to fund this adoption debt free. When the world opened, we submitted our paperwork and Sasha came home on September 11th 2021 and has been here ever since and he is now thriving he's graduated high school he's completed certifications at Tri Rivers Construction Academy he is fully employed and working hard and he has big plans for his future if you're in the moment where your plans are not working and you're fighting to make something happen I mean, prayer is gonna be like your biggest
tool in your toolbox, it's going to be the heftiest one because when it's God's plan, it's going to come easier. You're going to feel like this battle is one that I can win. This is something that I can tackle. Yeah, I have like roadblocks, but those are nothing. When you're fighting your own battle, every roadblock is monumentous. It is hard. It is draining. It is impossible. But when you're pursuing God's plan, those things, those, those same hurdles feel inconsequential. They're just like, I can deal with that.